just shows uh, how much we care about him and care about each other in the community. And, and I think it's really important for the whole community to come together and support Coach Sims at a time like this. After spending a decade serving young people in the Waco Connolly community, longtime girls basketball coach Taylor Sims is looking for help from that same community as he continues the fight for his life. I don't think I could have handled it like he could. I don't think a lot of people could handle it like he is. For more than 10 years, Taylor Sims has spent his time teaching his players how to overcome adversity. Now he's learning to overcome some of his own. You know, it's hard, you know, dealing with things like this. But it's even harder when you have, you know, little ones and stuff like that to rely on you. During the 2019-20 season, Sims suffered from intense stomach ulcers, which nearly cost him his life. Then a sobering diagnosis, hepatocellular carcinoma, an aggressive form of liver cancer. When I found out and I talked to Coach Sims, it was actually after a, a little football practice and I seen Coach Sims and I went over and I talked to him and we talked about it for a little bit, but he didn't want to talk about that. He wanted to talk about my son that's in college. So that's the kind of person he is. By all accounts, Coach Sims loves his players and his community. And you can tell when you have a coach that really means something, not just in a job, but to the youth and to the community because the kids come back, you know, they're all growing and driving and they come back to see you and tell you the impact that you had. And I know that's exactly what Coach Sims has been. Now they're taking the opportunity to love him back. This weekend, Waco United hosted a fundraiser for Sims and his family. They've also set up a GoFundMe account online. And for a coach who preached how to use community to overcome adversity, He's seeing it play out firsthand. When you hit adversity or when adversity hits you, how are you going to respond? It's not, you know, if you're going to get knocked down, it's when you get knocked down, how are you going to get up? And I still have players now that will send me messages, you know, text messages, stuff like that, that say, hey, coach, you taught us this. There's still a long road ahead for Coach Sims. Right now he's serving as Connolly's Athletics Facilities Coordinator in between treatments. But as he continues his battle, his passion for the game still hasn't wavered. My dream, you know, aspirations are to coach again. And, I, you know, I want to. But, you know, right now I know that it's, it's more about me and my family and my health. If you want to help support Coach Sims' journey, you can do so by following a link to the GoFundMe page on this story on KXXV.com. Reporting in Waco, Jack Allen, 25 Sports.